you look at the current coaches and there's plenty of candidates, they're big personalities, right? Kirby Smart, obviously, Steve Sarkeesian, Lane Kiffin at Ole Miss, Josh Heupel at Tennessee, um, you know, a Shane Beamer, maybe Eli Drinkwitz at Missouri. There's a lot of guys that could rise up. I don't know if they'll, they'll never dominate a league or be that Nick Saban guy. I don't even know. Kalen DeBoer, too. I mean, can't rule him out. I don't think anyone could win as many titles as Nick Saban going forward. I'm not even sure Nick Saban would have won as many under a system where you have to win three or four playoff games a year. If there is somebody who's going to become that kind of alpha dog in the league, who do you think it might be, Ross? Certainly, Kirby is well down the the path of doing that, uh, further down than maybe anybody else. But you, you look at Sark at Texas and the resources that Texas has, what they did, how he's built the program up um, to where it is. He's got the Saban, obviously spent a few years under Nick, so he's got kind of the Saban plan, so to speak. I think he's, he's one that certainly can um, get it done. And again, in an age where players are going to get direct – pay from schools uh and you know i don't want to launch into the house case stuff but can can also get outside third party nil that doesn't count toward the cap the rev share cap a place like austin texas is a pretty good one to be in um anywhere with a massive city like that is, is going to have a huge advantage, I think, going forward. It's a whole nother story. I think the plain and simple is Texas is, seems to be primed uh, and has the coach to do it. So I'd probably say him, but you also look at, you know, what's going on at Tennessee. Um, you mentioned Josh Heupel, you know, in, in w- what they have resource-wise in the in a NIL age, they probably have uh, distributed to their football players, their collective, just as much as anybody else. So you look at their resources there and just the passion there uh, that that the fans have. So those are some I would spotlight. And then, of course, you have Brian Kelly there at, at LSU. You know, can he get it going there? 